What's up guys, this is the Rex HD and today is our second episode of the Football Manager 2012 series. Last game we beat Bristol City um, 3 0 very convincingly and it was a very good game. So if you want to check out that video there will be a, be a link in the description. Ooh. There will be a link to the description in there before. So today is the game against Bristol Rovers and uh, Bristol City's um, rivals are in League 2 and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the selection. I'm going to choose a team which I think is less. How do you say less? Um. So basically, gives everyone a rest. So I'm going to go for the higher ones, the people with the higher um condition. So your left back, left back. I need a lower left. Let's, let's give Zeki Fryers a a game. Uh, centre backs who didn't play us last game. Sander Kelly didn't play, and neither did. Oh, Hart, sorry. So Hart will go there. Still quite a good team. Um, right, so it's two set midfielders. So I'm going to have Mikael Laterwood filter centre to left. And then it's in, then I'll have... Hmm, who else could I have? Then I'll have Gunnarsson right. So I'm going to swap that around because later would because he was a bit bad. Uh, Noel Hunt is going to start right wing. Left wing is going to be um, Joseph Mills. And attacking midfielder centre is going to be that Thomas Kuyuyo. I don't even know what his name is. And we're going to start off. We're going to start uh, Lafondre. On the bench, we're going to have Simon Church. We're going to have Makanoff. We're going to have Karachan. We're going to have Ajayte, Connolly just for the, the bants, uh, Adam Fricci, and let's go with a, another sent uh, midfielder guy. So this is the team. It's a very it's a different team compared to yes last game. I think no no one's playing that was playing in the other game. I think one, two, I think these one, two, three came on, but not for long, not long at all. So Lafondre, I hope he will start scoring in this game because he's known as being a goal threat and I hope that he lives up to it. So we're going to exploit the flanks, control and start the match. So yeah, it's 2D if you want to know, and the replays are in 3D, so if you want to know that. So we start on the ball. Oh, hello. Later wood to Hunt. I'm running. Gone Griffin. To Hunt again. To that. I don't, don't know how you pronounce that name. If you can tell me how how to pronounce it, I'll be very helpful because I don't have a clue how to pronounce it. Ooh, Joseph Mills should have scored that. What about um? I don't even know who Joseph Mills is. I think I'm learning him out actually soon, which is kind of don't know if it's bad or good, but. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Zeki Fries. He's on loan from Man U, so I'm just giving him some experience here in the League Cup against a lackluster Bristol Riverside. I'd say. Mills. Look at that run with Mills. Mills down the wing. Lovely ball. Hunt. Ooh. Can, uh, great play by Mills there. I don't know if you want me to like say like this, like, um say if Mills has a ball, I don't I don't know if the commentate over it, like say like you passed the Mills and everything like that, or you just want to watch the game by yourself and just look at yourself. So yeah, I might put some mute like black mill or like um approaching Nirvana music in the background soon. Maybe next episode. For us to do that, I don't have a clue really, but I might as well. But I think it might lag the the game up a bit, but oh well. So as you can see, 13 minutes into the 14 minutes of the game, we've had most of the um, chances. Let me just have match info. Um, I forgot to match facts. Is there match facts? Match information? Nope, not that. Oh, Gunnison. Oh, Gunnison's transfer list. I want to say that he's 35 years old. I don't really want that many, um, for Lafondre. Adam Lafondre, first goal for Reading. See, so, yeah, he did come on the last match. Okay, match report. I'm trying to find, um, basic match stats. Here you go. I'll put it there, so let's see this goal then. I don't really commentate over it. couldn't actually see. Lovely, look at a mess up by Downs there, and then Lafondre is poacher. So we've had six shots, one on target, and that's a goal, and four off target. 
one chance, clear ch- chance of position was that. We've had 65% possession, 66 now. Corners three, fouls zero, offside five. You can tell how much we're we're owning them really. And they've had no shots at all, not even on target, not even goal. And there, look, eight, another shot, eight shots, two shots on target. Our, their average rating is 6.3, ours is 6.8, which is really good signs. I know it's against Bristol Rovers, but it's getting good because we know this team can actually make some chances. And I'm hoping from the show what they can do because someone does really well, might pick from the next game. And a really bad own goal by Downs. That's the second um, mistake of the game. And as he let the goal in full of Fondre, and I think he might have a really low rating. Look at this, Griffin has passed the down the thing. That's would be pass it in and it comes back of downs. 2 0. And it's not even half time yet. The only problem I had last game was that we didn't score any goals in the second half. I'm gonna need that if I want to say if I'm going in drawing or losing. And the Fondra should have scored that. On my other season I have a Swindon season. I um as League Two, I signed I think who was it? I think I had Kejman on loan. He's a really good player if you want him. If you're League 2 or League 1, go for Kejman, Matteo Kejman. He scores about 20 goals a season, but then then you have the other striker who also scores one. He's best as a target man, but he can also play the poacher. And look at this ball. Downs again, making the problem. And 3-0, Lafondre second. This is what I mean. He's a clear-born goal scorer. He takes up everything. It may have been a deflection off the keeper, but it was a goal. So look, look at this downs there again. Look, should have got to that, and then easy and look at that goal there. Lovely finish outside the box. So I'm sorry, Tom, if you're watching this because I know you like Bristol Rovers, but we're zoning you <laughs> at the moment. But we're we're reading. So complacency. Zaki Fry is on 66%. So we're going Adrian Adrete. Oh, don't know. Or we might bring on... Yeah, we'll do that. We might have to take off Lafondre in a minute because he's, like, getting a bit, like, tired. But we got, we got, a, got a big side. we got a big um depth on our side, so there's no chance of us... um Not a lack of players in one spot. There may be, but we need to get some better players. Like, I think I might... um Sign a couple more players in the tra- end of the transfer window, only on loan or like some like cheap but people that will get me some, like, just to back up my. Because the one thing I worry about is my defenders and my midfielder centre. Because I want a, another crit midfielder, so I might try and sign Kilkenny, Pobre City, or um, I was trying to sign this guy called Marco Verratti, 1.5 million. He's a very good um, Italian centre midfielder, best plays a, a, I think, a, advanced playmaker, support, or a um, deep line playmaker support. And I also tried to sign um, David A. Petrucci from Man United because for some reason they have him really cheap and tramps listed on this game. He's a... Um, I, I rate him really, not, not in real life because I haven't really seen him play because he hadn't really heard much about him. But on this game, he's a really good player. So I might try and get him on loan as well just to bulk up my up-ditch options in midfield and attack midfield. Because the only attack midfield I sent I've got is... Who played their last game? I think it was... Um, Hunt, yes, no Hunt. He's a legend, no Hunt is. That was a lovely, lovely little play there by um, CEO Wack. I don't know how you say it, Thomas Zikwaka. Look, Virgo made a big mistake there. And then lovely ball there. And then Hunt just puts it through. This is getting too easy, really. So we've beaten, we're beating Rovers more, more than City, so. But they are League 2 side, so you can't really say much about it, even though it's our weakest side. I hope you enjoyed the last video, by the way, guys. Just tell me what I'm gonna try and do is, as you you might not know this, but they're releasing they're um releasing a new series called um not series a new channel called Machinima UK. This is gonna try and get out all the best out of the UK Machinima people like uh, YouTubers. And what I'm planning to do is to do Machinima Sports for UK and try and do it for Magic for that or Minecraft or anything else like that. I think this will be very good for me and the community as they will will find out about me. So he got into so church coming on, and also we may as well take off. Let's take off Gun Gunnison for him. So, for Fondra's injured. Hopefully that's not bad because 
I know we got Roberts, but we want like that. He's our probably second best striker behind. Actually, Lafonso is probably our second best, but Lafondre is a really good player, which I can cont- I can bring on and he'll score goals. I know that. I have faith in him. And now look, Rovers have actually had some shots, four shots, two shots on target. They've nearly had more shots on target than us. What are you saying? But we've converted our shots on target. Look, we had four shots on target and four goals. Off target six, and so what's, what's the, what were the other two shots then? Were they nothing? I don't know. Uh, pass was completed, we had much more than them. Uh, possession was still m- more possession than them. So we had so much more offside, which you got to work on our runs, really. So I might try and get them to training, like, the offsides. The one thing, our wingers, our best wingers I've been playing in this game, so that's a really good sign, as we got Joseph Mills and... Um, What's his face? Hunt. And he's scoring as well. So we've always got this backup. So say if their condition is less than 90, I might start playing um, Hunt and uh, Hunt and him. This That Thomas um, C, I'll just call him C, the, my attacker midfielder, he plays around like... He's a really... I didn't really rate him at like Wigan before. But cause I was trying to sell him, but he's actually playing really well in his first game. I know it might be against Rovers, like I've said probably about a million times, but it's good. It's a good sign that he's playing well. And we're nearly finished here. Ninety second minute. So Griffin, I think he used to play for Portsmouth. And that Keller I signed him from um, for free. He was a free transfer centre back. He's quite. He's a. Um, f- and there you go. He won four nil against Bro- Rovers. So good win. So the best Griff. The best uh, rating was Andy Griffin. I've 32, he's got good stats, but I don't really, I don't, he's my backup right back. I was surprised that, that um, this guy, Thomas Suyuka, don't have a clue what his name is really. He's from Poland, obviously. And history, Derby, yeah, he was at Derby and Wigan. And if, if, I like him, he's, he's starting to look alright now. And if you didn't realise already, I've had, I got the face packs for the Premier League, so if you see... And like for face for Premier League, you'll realise that I have got them. So look, Lafondre. So he's second, or he's joint third in the the um the goal scoring charts in the league in the Championship, oh League Cup even. So look, uh, Atkin beat Leeds, got knocked out. Knox County beat Barnes, that's a big win. Um, other ones that we had, oh well. So let's just see what how bad the injury for Lafondre is. He, I was also trying to sign Tom Kearney. He was a very... He's a good talent. He's a good midfielder. Shepard. Gogla. Yeah. Lafondre. Does he even say how long he's out for? Maybe Lafondre's not out at all. Tired, I think it is. Yeah, I don't think he's out at all. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And check out for the latest video. It's coming up soon. Bye guys, see you later.